Hey guys, my name's Marissa, and today I'm going to teach you how to take this right here and turn it into this right here. It's really easy, it's really fun, and you never know what you're going to get. To do this patina, you are going to need a plastic Tupperware container or glass bowl, a spray bottle, some ammonia, some clear coat, some iodized salt or sea salt. Sea salt's actually preferred, but I personally prefer to use iodized. Some baking soda, and a copper or brass mod to do your patina on. Okay, so to start this off, you're going to take your mod, which is probably going to be pre-polished from the factory, wherever you got it. Whether it's a clone or an authentic mod, it's probably going to have polish on it, and we need to sand that off. This will end up scratching your mod, so if you are into the perfection of your mods and keeping it nice and perfect, don't do this. What I do is I take a drill with some steel wool, it's a steel wool drill bit, excuse my camera for not focusing on it, and I take the piece, I take the piece that I'm going to be doing the patina on, and all I do is sand it down to take the clear coat off of it. It will not patina if the clear coat is left on. When you're setting up your patina, you want to get your plastic or glass bowl and you want to put ammonia in the bottom of it. Mine's already kind of tinted. Did a patina earlier today. Meh. Ammonia in the bottom. Not a whole bunch, just a little bit. You want to get the smell all up in there. And then you want to take your spray bottle and you want to mix ammonia, salt, and baking soda all together. Make sure it's not clumpy or it won't spray out and then you've just got a big mess. You want to take a piece of canthal and lace it through the piece that you're using it on whatever piece of the mod you're trying to patina and you want to take it and latch it onto the bowl so that the tube is suspended above the ammonia base. Then you want to take your spray bottle which is spray sprays. You just want to spray it down get it nice and soaked, turn it around, spray the other side then you cap it and you're done for now. Once you've got that done, you're going to wait and about every two hours after I put a piece into patina, I will come in, turn it, not using my hands. I usually use a pair of needle nose pliers, grab the piece and turn it, and then you're going to take and spray it again. That way that there's not drips falling off the bottom and that it all patinas evenly. After that, leave it overnight. Just leave it overnight, don't touch it, don't mess with it, don't take it out. In the morning when you wake up, hopefully you'll have a really awesome patina. Then you leave it to dry for about an hour or two and then clear coat it. I personally use clear indoor spray paint. Alright guys, well hopefully everyone's patinas come out awesome. Feel free to send me pictures because I love to see everyone's different patinas because they all turn out a little bit different no matter whether it's the same process or not. Please remember that ammonia is a very dangerous chemical and when it's breathed in it is toxic. So do not expose yourself for long amounts of times and please wear gloves and protect yourselves. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out a bunch of reviews and a bunch of how-to videos in the future and go ahead and message me and let me know what you want to see.